Hi Mr. Newmobile here. Samsung's Impact August 2020 lens is just around the corner techie happening next week in August on August 5th. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. This is one Samsung will unveil not as the Galaxy Fold 2, but also the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, alongside some smart devices, such as the Galaxy Beans wireless bombs, and a few order accessories and devices as well, so without any further ado, here's everything we know at moments about Samsung's Impact August 2020. Okay now just as a quick disclaimer everything that I'm going to talk about is based on the leaks and the rumors that we've seen now. I might know a few extra things, but unfortunately, I cannot really talk about those yet. So everything uncovering in this video has been leaked or reported somewhere else, already speaking of that Samsung has also showed the trailer pretty unpacked 2020 events, and in this frame right here. It seems that they're actually teasing 5 individual devices. So here is what you need to know about each of those is how it's rumored to be called, and this is honestly the worst name that I've seen in a phone, that really hoping that Samsung's causes default, to as simply Samsung just drop the Galaxy name, and just give it a more simplistic, branding Samsung fall to help call that be anyway. That will likely not happen which means that we'll have to get used to this horrid name, but doesn't really matter as this device will be truly breathtaking, and also a gigantic leap forward or even the Galaxy Foldable on the biggest, improvement here is on the outside, so the small 4.6 inch display that, we got a default one. This is said to be bound to an edge to edge display, at 6.23 inches in size when a single cutout, which would be a single punch hole camera, and not only that, but internal display is also to be getting larger, from the 7 points range panel that we got, on the folder one even larger 7.7 inch panel this displays, also said to be getting a bump, when it comes to the refresh rate, going from 60 hertz up to 120 hertz, which will make everything feel buttery, smooth, and twice more responsive than ever before now. According to display analyst Ross Young default to will 20Hz, as it does on the Galaxy is 20 instead, and will be able to bring down the refresh rate when you don't need it as high, and then save some battery life. As a result now we don't know if Samsung will finally be allowing us to run the display at 90 resolution ends also at 120Hz, at this was purposely not doable on the artist 20s, which were restricted to just NADP 120. I really do hope that they do a lot to do that, especially concerning how massive the display on the Galaxy Fold 2 will be speaking of the display. The notch is finally going away. So instead of that massive space being wasted and we would be getting a single small camera cut out just as on the outside and the hinges getting a redesign to mimic the one that begot what is that flip which would not only make it more durable but it comes to dust and debris but it also potentially make the photo thinner than the chunk of the phone that default one was when cost the camera is also getting a massive upgrade the exact same arrangement as the upcoming Galaxy Note 20 Ultra which I'll cover in just a second but yes we are getting 108 megapixel resolution 50 exu and 12 or even 16 GB of RAM, now likely are no reports. XS990 version which is great because we are paying this much for the vice if we want the absolute best in terms of the performance, and the XS990, just isn't it also reports of the storage being dropped into 156 GB from 512 nerd to make a whole device more affordable. Also there will not be any macros the card support, so you can really expand the storage any further than the back is getting a new frosted glass coating, which I'm really looking forward to like I'm a massive fan of trusted back smartphones. Unfortunately, the S band even though it's only rumored to be included. It has been removed likely to have solved the display is, and speaking of that display this icons that flipped the fall to. Sorry those that fall to 5G would feature a UTG or an ultra-thin glass display, which would make it even more durable when it comes to drugs and scarves in the Galaxy Full 1, plus now we have some reports that Samsung will also launch another version of the Galaxy Full to a full to light, or at least a heavily discounted Doxy Fault 1. Unfortunately we haven't really had any updates on that since May, so I'm not sure this thing is still hope that it is because this would be really the best way for new users to experience foldable devices. So overall I'm really looking forward to the Galaxy Fold to just a bit disappointed that it doesn't have an aspect like that would be amazing on the gigantic display they are, and that this is a massive improvement over the folder, one which keep in mind I was using that's not anymore, but I was using that for about 2 months, and lately my daily driver will be switching to default again. Once the photo comes out next up we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra the follow up to the Galaxy Note, and plus from last year which was also not my favorite phones I've ever used, and we are getting quite a few changes here 
here so design wise, just like we default to movie getting frosted glass on the back window 20 ultra coming in 3 colors, so copper whites and then also black, and the camera itself is getting some really nice design improvements as well. Thank you this ring that surrounds the individual modules in the ring, will also match the color of the phone, yet really love this look, the display is getting bigger at 6.9 inches now, compared to 6.8 inches that we had on the Galaxy Note, and plus delivered 20hz refresh rate. Just I can't afford to and the S20 line over it same as on the fault of this is now, since you have a variable refresh rate in order to save battery life. Unfortunately, we don't know yet if it will support 120Hz at full resolution, but seems will default to I really do hope that this is the case, especially concerning how gigantic the display will also be speaking of the display we've all seen rumors that a Note 20 Ultra might be the world's first smartphone to come with a brand new Corning Gorilla Glass 7, which is said to dramatically improve the scratch resistance, and Samsung is also making our change display lights, so they'll still have a curved glass display Note 20 Ultra, but the actual panel itself. The older panel will be as curved as it used to be on the Note, and plus instead it is it to be quite similar to how it is now on the S20 Ultra some people like that. Some loans I gotta say I'm actually a really big fan of curved displays on smartphones, but I think they just make the phone look so much better, and especially with the S10 and the Note 10 from last year. I really haven't had any accidental touch issues myself so other being an issue at all at least on Samsung phones, but her comments or you guys think about all of this generalized Note 20 Ultra is that have mostly the same cameras as the S20 Ultra had a few small changes, so the 108 medical sensor now on is identical to the one on the Ultra, only this time we are getting the new laser focusing module reproving that hits and Ms. autofocus that we had the S20 Ultra the ultra wide angle module that same the same at 12 megapixels and an f22 aperture, but a telephoto modules of the zoom module down is getting some pretty massive changes. So run in Samsung using a 49 pixel sensor within a 3.5 aperture like they did on the S20 Ultra the leaks are saying that they will be switching to a 12 megapixel f3.0 aperture module which will now offer 5x optical zoom as opposed to 4x optical zoom and we had on the S20 Ultra and as a result of the sensor is now lower. Apparently we would only have 50x digital zoom as opposed to 100x digital zoom like we had on the S20 Ultra and I actually do think that this is really good really good move, because Tnex on the S20 Ultra those really, where we had the best quality in terms of zoom in the 5 any optical zoom has actually been improved on the Note 20 Ultra means that the quality will actually be higher at a 10x zoom factor the front facing camera solution is also to be dropped to 10 megapixels down from 40, well unfortunately the XS990 processor this one is still still said to be included in international versions of the Note 20 Ultra same exact ship that regards when he is 20s, and this is necessarily about processor, is just that this one was worse than the standard ingredients that regards on the US models of the Galaxy, as 20 it's even though international customers they were still charged the same price. The US variant is now said to be getting Snapdragon 855 Plus processor, which means that the performance gap and the battery life gap between the US and international versions of the Note 20 Ultra, when I'll be even bigger than ever before brought the Note 20 Ultra is really the ultimate non-enforceable phone that Samsung will be selling in 2020, and really the best option, and it seems that now we would be able to use the Aspen as a pointer on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra which is pretty interesting. Personally, I like having the S plan, but I never found myself using it on a daily basis speaking of new features. So does the Note 20 more affordable version of the Note 20 Ultra delete renderers and images that we've seen point towards this. Having rounded corners which will make a very similar design to the S20 Ultra burn them squared up design has really been a trademark for an outline. It is said to come with a smaller as 6.42 inch display at a 1080p resolution, possibly even what is 60Hz refresh rate, instead of the 120 refresh rate, and will get 20 Ultra then the cameras are also said to be different from the Note 20 Ultra the Note 20 having exact and camera system is on Galaxy is 20, the Galaxy is 20 plus, that means a 64 megapixel telephone module, with all the zoom being digitals, and optical zoom down a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle module, in the 12 megapixel main module, spec Wise, the Note 20 is set to come with the same XS990 shape or international versions, or Snap and a 65, so the regular Ecstasy 5. Another plus US OK now here's an interesting one. We've also heard rumors that the Galaxy Note 20 would actually come with a plastic back, now I if I buy that because even low and Arwell. He posted the full prices of the Note 20 line. It seems that the Note 20 4G will be 1000 euros, while the Note 20 Ultra will be 1350 euros.
I think the Note 20 Ultra is priced decently, thing is charging 1000 euros for something that comes with a Tinea Pettis plan, talk about the Note 20, that's also a 60hz display, and also has a plastic bag, really hoping that his leaks are not true because if they are, and Samson's in a lot of trouble, when it comes in regular Note 20, like take a look at the OnePlus, nor any of CYOK now. There have been a few more leaked devices for the upcoming Samsung event, so it's want to go through these real quick, so the first of these small devices is likely to be the Galaxy Tab S7. So when future posted for details on both of these is yes, we will be getting two models of the Galaxy Tab at 7, the Rider T the 7, which is said to come with an 11-inch 2560x1600 display, and then the tablets of them plus we decide to come with a 12.4-inch 2800x1752 outlet display, both of these being 120Hz refresh rate patents, via single camera module 45, what fast urging is said to be included on both of these, and accessories, such as the Aspen stylus, and the Cure Cover percent to be sold separately, as detailed by leaker Evan Blass OK next up, we have the Galaxy Watch 3 3, what happened to the Galaxy Watch 2 so Samsung release. The original Galaxy Watch back in 2018, an incentive releasing the Galaxy Watch 2 they start focusing more on their Galaxy Watch Active line, for which they've already released two separate models, as 2019, do not Samsung seems to be skipping the Galaxy Watch 2, and then jumping to 3 instead, probably just to outline that hey, this is a more superior model to even the Galaxy Watch Active to the Verge, even found a full hands-on video of the Galaxy Watch 3 in years by 80 channel Tech Talk TV, and from the looks of it, it seems like the bezel is getting thinner, all the screen is sexy, getting a bit bigger, a blood oxygen level meter is also to be included alongside a blood pressure meter, a heart rate monitor, as well as any centimeter. Here's a fun fact of actually is quite a few smart watches over the years, mostly well mostly Apple watches I've also tried quite a few hundred, I'm all for trying the Galaxy Watch 3 to same. And finally we have the Galaxy Birds Live aka the Galaxy Beat something out of all these devices, I think the Galaxy Beans were probably the most leaks device IDs having leak like crazy, and these are essentially Samsung very first in your headphones with active noise cancellation. I don't believe that they have any seals or anything, so this would kinda be a mix between the original AirPorts and the AirPorts Pro, when it comes to the sound isolation. I'm quite curious to trying to sell myself as if you look very very unique. I was hoping that the sound quality on these is pretty good as well. Patient Agarwal found the tutorial videos made by Samsung How To, puts the headphones into your ears, and apparently they will also have a touch bar just like the Galaxy, but so yeah overall, Samsung.